Hello friends, in today's video, we're going to be building an audio processing service with our web APIs utilizing OpenAI Whisper. We're going to be transcribing audio as well as we're going to be translating from French to English. We're going to be seeing how easy it is for us to utilize these services out of the box with Whisper from OpenAI. I'm Mohammed, and if you'd like to learn more about AWS Azure as well as .NET, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. It will really help the channel. Now, let's jump into the code. So what I have here is a very simple web API. Right now it contains two controllers. One of them is completely empty and the other one is the standard one that comes out when we're creating a new project. As well, I have two videos attached, actually one audio and one video. So this video, if we play it up, it's a very simple it's video for Richard Feynman talking so about easy. physics as well really as science, which is very interesting. Science, think... And the other one is basically a few words in French that we're going to be translating into English. So if we hear it. Ah, plus trois. So we can hear some mathematical operation, 2 plus 3 equal, etc, etc. So what we're going to be doing is, for the Richard Feynman video, which is the video one, so we're going to be starting quite simple. By first, we're going to be creating the transcription. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be creating a new endpoint. Actually, before we do that, I want to install a package, which is going to be the OpenAI package. And the package that I want to utilize is basically the OpenAI NuGet package. And I want to utilize a preview version. I don't want to utilize the stable one. So if we go here to versions, what I want to do is I want to utilize the latest version, which is beta 8. So I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this and go back to Rider. And inside my terminal, I'm just going to copy it and basically install it. So now that I have my NuGet install, my package install, I'm going to start by creating my endpoint. So the first one is going to be HTTP post. And this HTTP post is going to be a public async task by action result. And we're just going to call this audio transcribe. And we're not going to take anything. We're going to hard code this value. Again, this is a demo. You should not do that uh, in a real case scenario. And I'm going to create a route for it. And I'm going to call it audio transcribe. Very simple. So what I want to do first is I need to define my API key for OpenAI. So I'm going to put var OpenAI key equal. And I'm just going to copy paste it here. And once I do that, the next step is I'm going to specify the options for the audio transcription. And we're going to put var audio options equal to new audio. As we can see here, we can see a lot of different information regarding audio. And I'm going to be using this one, audio transcription options. And once I have done that, we can see here now I have the ability to specify all of these different options. So we can see here that we have the granularity. Basically, it allows the time step uh, population. We have the language, the prompt, the temperature, and the response format. So what I want to do right now is quite simple. I just want to utilize the response format. And I'm going to make sure it's going to be in SRT format in case I want to add it to a video. I want to make sure to use it somewhere else. I can do that from here as well. If we take a look at other different options, although I don't read any of them, but just to explain here, we can basically specify the temperature, which is going to be the accuracy. Here we can specify the language if we want to hard code it here, the granularity here about the timestamp granularity, as well as the prompt, which is going to be a single file. I'm not going to specify a prompt. And now that I have my option, now I need to create an audio client. So I'm going to put var audio client client equal new audio client and within the audio client we need to specify as we can see here the model and the credentials so the model that i'm going to be using is called whisper the model that i'm going to be using is called whisper one so we're going to put whisper dash one and here i need to specify my api key so i'm just going to put here my open api key so i already have created this key i'm just going to copy paste it here so we directly have access to it okay perfect so now that i have done this the next step is i'm going to utilize this audio client in order for me to transcribe the audio so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put var response equal await audio client dot transcribe audio async that's what i want and if we take a look at the options it's going to take the file itself as well it's going to take the audio options that i have so the file that i want to transcribe is going to be my richard Feynman video as well as for the options i'm going to specify my audio options here perfect i'm just going to copy paste this name so i'm going to put edit rename copy and i'm going to put it here so now that i have done this all i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be returning okay and within this okay i'm going to put response dot value dot text and that's as simply as that so now that i have this i'm gonna run my code i'm gonna open up in my web browser and now as you can see i have my audio management audio transcribe and if i click on execute now my file is being uploaded open ai being analyzed and now i should get a response with the transcription of this video 
this just really take a few seconds and now as we can see here I got the full transcripts uh, transcription of that video with the timestamp so we can see from 0 to 7 that has been the sentence so if we compare it right now let's go back to my file here and let's match it it's interesting that some people find science so easy and others find it kind of dull and difficult case of science I think that one of the things that make it very difficult is it takes a lot of imagination so as we can see here it's actually much exactly the video that we have and this is exactly the responses that I was hoping to get so now that we have done this now the next step it's going to be the translation of the video and this is going to be also quite simple and almost similar to what we have done here so and just to make it easy for myself i'm just going to copy paste this copy and instead of audio transcription i'm going to call it translation i'm going to name the same action here and for the options instead of having audio transcription i'm going to put audio translation options and as for the audio translation option we need to specify the format and i'm going to utilize the srt format so we can just have the same structure as before and as for the audio client we're going to keep the audio client as is and for the request that we're going to be using with the audio client instead of transcribing an audio what we're going to be doing is we're going to put a translation of an audio async and instead of sending the video for richard Feynman we want to utilize the french one so we can put sums.mp3 and now we're going to be utilizing this so now if I run this and go back to my web browser and I click on refresh, we can see here now I got a new one, which is going to be a new endpoint, which is for all the translation. If I click on write out, click on execute. And now we can see here that we got the translation from uh, French to English. So we have a, so we have two plus three equals. And if we want to listen to that in French, a, so as we can see here, we are actually doing the right translation. Cat. Let's stop now the audio and now we can see that this is actually working on point of how we want it actually to behave. And this has been just a very quick introduction of how we can actually utilize the OpenAI Whisper in order for us to do some audio manipulation. There is a lot of different functionalities that we can actually utilize these audio AI enhancements tool in order for us to implement them within our APIs. Like for example, if you want to do real-time translation or we can provide a service where people will be able to do some translation, etc. For transcribing videos, if you want to do some post-processing on that, etc. etc. All of these different functionalities will provide a lot of value for our customers or for anyone who's actually using our APIs. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments down below. If you'd like to support me, please make sure you subscribe as well. If you want access to the source code, please make sure you support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.